I spend my money not very wisely, but here we are. <laughs> Jay and today I'm here with another book haul because Value Village is my weakness so without further ado let us get started. The first book that I have I'm really excited about it's called Girls in Pieces by Kathleen Glasgow and all I really know about it is that it follows a girl named Charlie who is struggling with depression I'm assuming but she cuts herself for relief from that depression and she has a whole bunch of shit that happened to her and that's why she's so upset and it's basically her trying to come back from the edge and get better. And I know that a lot of people said there's a lot of trigger warnings for obviously self-harm. I'm really excited about this because I've heard nothing but really good things about it. So I'm ready to dive on into it. The next book I have is The Body in the Woods by April Henry. It follows these three teenagers who decide to join the search and rescue team in their town and they get sent off together to find an autistic man but they end up finding a body in the woods and that's when they decide that they're going to work together to find this girl's killer before they can strike again. I honestly have not heard that much about this book but I see it everywhere so I'm kind of excited to see what it's all about. I've read an April Henry book before her newest release, The Lonely Dead, and I really didn't like it. I gave it a two out of five stars, so we're gonna see. I just, I liked the cover and how green it was, so. The next book that I have I'm really excited about because it's been on my radar since it came out. I've wanted to read it. It's called Her Pretty Face by Robin Harding, and it follows a woman who moves to a town with her son, enrolls him in this really prestigious school. Nobody wants to get to know her because of something that happened. It doesn't say what it is, but it says that it's a disturbing incident at the school, which leads the other children and their families to ostracize the Medicavs. She feels more alone than ever before. And then she meets a woman named Kate Randolph, who thinks all the other mothers are snobs, only wants to be friends with Francis. And then Francis discovers that she's been lied to and that this Kate woman is actually named Amber and she's a murderer and she needs to decide whether or not she can forgive her past, yada yada yada. Is she gonna strike again? We don't know. I hope so. And I'm hoping that is a murder murder savvy savvy book, but but I guess we'll see. The next book that I have, I bought because I've seen it a lot on booktube and it has a lot of mixed reviews, so I wanted to see where I fell on that spectrum, but it's Georgia Peaches and Other Forbidden Fruit by J. Robin Brown. It follows a girl who is gay. She's never been one to hide that fact. And then her father gets remarried and asks her to lay low about being gay because they're moving to Georgia, which is not a very open community. So she reluctantly agrees. She says, okay, I'll do that for you. We're good, going back in the closet. She goes back in the closet and then she discovers that as rebranding herself as a straight girl gets her to be in the popular crowd. But then she meets a girl named Mary. She knows that Mary's off limits, but then she starts thinking that Mary might like her back and she needs to decide what she's gonna do about it. I've heard a lot of mixed things about it. A lot of people have been angry about it because it's like, you know, she's getting closeted again. Other people say it's a really good book, so. We're gonna see where we fall on that spectrum. And then the final book that I have, I'm actually really excited about because a lot of people read it. Very mixed reviews on this one as well, but I've always been interested in it. So finally found a copy, excited for it. It's called This Is Where It Ends by Marike Nijkamp. And I've read Before I Let Go by her and I really did not like it. So I'm kind of like scared for it, but I wanna know if it's good. All I really know about it is that it's a school shooting book, so. We're gonna see what we think of it if we ever read it because, you know, we have a thousand million trillion gajillion books that we need to get through, said every booktuber ever. All right, guys, so that was the haul for this time around. Let me know down below if you guys have read any of these and what you thought of them, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!